Obviously, you start uh, your career with a dream to, to, to go high in the sport, to get into Formula One. I always have a clear goal in my mind of why I came into this sport and why I want to go far. My life was never the same. I sometimes they say like he's an artist because he'll, he'll just create something that you don't anticipate, like in scenarios where you think it's not possible for him to, to do something and he just finds some crazy way to do it. It was the first round of Supermass Series in 2022. I started the race P3 and had to overtake P2 on the first lap and then the gap to P1 was really big. In those moments you realise like how special he is. So I was pushing really hard to try and catch up to him and on the last lap made the move for the win but after got a penalty for the move so the disappointing because it was for sure one of my best ever races. So of course like winning the European Championship weekend was like such a special moment. A he was in a hospital bed in and it was his first major win since before his injury. En ese momento era un momento que yo creo que es difícil, es una lesión importante que puede incluso truncar su carrera y él lo superó, se ha recuperado de, de maravilla y es, ahora verlo es un placer eh, y esperemos que llegue a lo más alto. After a fantastic recovery, one of the most inspirational comebacks I think we've seen, Sasha Bondarev. Every team that I've been in has helped me to achieve where I am right now, so for sure a massive thank you to them. Everything that he's earned, he can truly say he's earned for his own performance. Yes. Okay, so I want you to do that, and then you need to come and tell me that, because then I know that you know. Yeah? And then you know that I know that you know. All right? Good, good, good. So I think for everybody, it's a really exciting transition from karting to F4. I'm really looking forward to what the next year will bring. And also, I think there's a big difference from karting to uh, Formula 4, where there's a lot of work now with an engineer, there's a lot of data. I think these two races in Barcelona and Mons are definitely going to help have him prepared and ready to go when he gets to for the pre-season championship. This weekend we received so much support from a lot of fans in Ukraine so I was very happy to see that. Very grateful to them and, uh, and hope I can show some, some really good results soon. And Alexander Bondarev is the 2023 FIA Karting. I'm so happy because every time I hear the Ukrainian national anthem it, it kind of reminds people what's actually going on in the country.